James 2, 14 through 18. Um, I, I'm pretty sure that I've read this in this room um, maybe a year and change back. Um, but it's, it's definitely one of my favorite books of the Bible, just because the book has such an interesting story behind it. Uh, the author has an even more interesting story behind it. And um, everything that he says in this particular book of the Bible, like you, it's just such a powerful book. The book of James is just, is just a really, um, it's a really strong and powerful book in the Bible. So James 2, 14 through 18 says, What good is it, dear brothers and sisters, if you say you have faith, but don't know it by your actions? Can that kind of faith save anyone? Suppose you see a brother or sister who have no food or clothing, and you say goodbye and have a good day. Stay warm and eat well. But then you don't give that person any food or clothing. What good does that do? So you see, faith by itself isn't enough unless it produces good deeds. It is, de it is dead and useless. Now someone may argue, some people have faith, others have good deeds. But I say, how can you show me your faith if you don't have good deeds? I will show you my faith by my good deeds. And today... I'm just grateful for, I'm grateful for life. I'm grateful for just being able to be here, being amongst each and every one of you this morning. And I am just, I'm just truly grateful for God and, and opportunity and just the ability to be able to help people. You know, um, this particular book was written by James. And um, I don't know if you guys know, a little bit of a backstory behind this particular book in the Bible, but um, <laughs> James was actually the brother of our Lord, and he didn't technically have faith while Jesus was alive. I mean, not according to most historical records. So you know, because you know, he he wasn't he wasn't really. A follower at that time but he came like afterwards he had faith afterwards you know i guess he was one of those persons i'm assuming obviously um who had to see to believe you know and and, and even more so because he would have been alive and he would have been around his mother who i'm sure would have been talking about you know the miracles jesus may have performed but he still wasn't a follower and a believer you know but sooner or later he he came to his senses and um, he writes a lot about faith. And it's so important, like what does this verse say about, you know, and, and you know, there's something that I, I preach and I, I say all the time, guys, you know, it's one thing to say you as a Christian and it's another thing for you to be a Christian. You know, it's, you, could, you could say to yourself that you have all the faith in the world. You know, you could say that and you could tell people, you could preach, you could go and you could scream and you could be saying all these long prayers. You could do whatever you want. But listen to me. Your faith and your work go hand in hand. See, you have to remember, the, the way that we treat each other is a reflection of our relationship with God, you know. Because he asks us to do two things, to love God and love each other. But see, because he made us in his image, the way that we treat each other is is basically the way that we treat God. He, like he, he he's telling us in this particular verse, he said, like, what good is your faith if you don't use it to help other people? What good is your faith if like you don't do good deeds or if you don't, you don't, you, you just are not a good person? You know, you can't say that you love me and you hate others because that relationship doesn't work that way. You know, when you surrender to me, you have to surrender to me. And part of surrendering, surrendering to me is to treat people the way that I treat you. Think about how much grace and mercy God gives us on a daily basis. That isn't That grace and mercy isn't for us to keep. That grace and mercy is for us to pass on and pass on to each other continuously. You know, um, they have a famous, well, not famous, but there's a, a scripture that says, render to Caesar, where Jesus um, speaks to the money changers, right? 
where he says render to Caesar was for Caesar. I think it's um is in Matthew twenty two and twenty one, right? Um, and in the in in this, just it's gonna line up when I tell you, right? So, in the particular verse, Matthew twenty two and twenty one, Jesus said. He responded by asking those whose face was engraved on the coin, used to pay the taxes. When they answered it was Caesar's face, Jesus replied with the now famous verse, Render to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and to God the things that are God's, right? And um, a good friend of mine made an explanation of that the other day. I never understood what it meant, but one of my friends from my Bible group did. And he said, Jesus was showing them the coin, and the coin had Caesar's face on it. So he said, you know, it has Caesar's face on it. So render that to Caesar, that's his own. But he said, look in the mirror. And what do you see? He said, you see your face, right? He said, but remember, God made you in his image. So you're a reflection of God. He said, render that to God. God wants us to submit to him. He wants us to give ourselves to him. And that's what is for him. You know, and but the way that we do this is by our good deeds and by showing him that we are faithful to him by the amount of good that we do in the world. Like simple as, as you guys just getting up every morning and coming here and starting a room without anyone being present. Like that's a good deed. Like you don't know who needed to hear that verse this morning, I jelly. Not even more important to me, like you don't know who needed to hear the replay. You know, like people come back and they know that they missed the room and they, 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 I've, I've had people come back and say, man, you know, thanks so much for all that you guys done in the morning. Like, you know, you never know like where, how far your good deed may carry. Like the little prayer that you say to somebody today, whether it be like just in passing by, like you, you may not have money to give somebody, but you may have time, you know, just time to stop and say, Hey man, everything will be okay. Hey, hey, let me pray with you. You know, let me cover you today. You know, today is Friday. I got you. You know, I, I ain't got nothing to give you, but, you know, instead of praying for things for me, let me pray for something for you. You know? So anyway, everyone, um, thank you again for the opportunity to speak. Um, may we continuously keep on this path of doing good deeds and showing God how faithful we are. So thank you, everyone. I'm Gary. Um, I'm going to relinquish my mic so I don't wake everyone else up. Thank you. Have a blessed day. Good morning, everyone.